Hi, this is Tyson with another SketchUp Skill Builder. And this time around, let's look at groups and components and show a tip about creating meaningful axes and bounding box for them. Now I'm just going to create a simple object here. Let's say we have, this is a light that we want to be shining up on this pillar. So this looks fine. Just select it all and make it a group. Now by doing so, this was not on the world axis and you can see that the bounding box does not correspond to the actual geometry. And that becomes important if you use things like the rotate gizmo with the move tool. That is not a meaningful rotation. If we use the scale tool, it also applies according to the bounding box. And this is also not helpful. So how can we change this bounding box? It is possible. All we need to do is edit this group. So I'll double click and you can see the axis here. And if you right click, you get the selection tool on the axis itself, again, outside of the group, I get this option to place. And now, if I click on, say, this corner and run one edge along this side and the other edge along this side, now I have an axis that is meaningful. Let's click outside of the group and then when we select it again, you can see we have a meaningful bounding box that will work much better with things like the rotate gizmo and the scale tool. Now let me undo this and the purpose of doing that is to show that we can do the same thing with components, but it is a different process. So here's our geometry, select it, make it a component, and here we have the option to set the component axis right from the beginning. And you can see it's not very useful now, but we can set it here and create this and it creates a meaningful bounding box from the start. Let me undo once more because as it so happens we aren't always that careful about setting the component axis when we create these so if you do that's okay. Simply right click on your component and say change axes. Pick a more meaningful axis and there you go. So it is a little bit different between groups and components. With a component, you can right click and change the axes. If you have a group, you actually need to edit it and change the axis from within the group. Hope this tip was helpful. Give it a try.